The last thing uh, that we really want to install is a good text editor. Okay, and so Sublime Text is actually my uh, favorite and free text editor. And so you can just click on the links, the link here in Canvas to install it, and it will take you where you can download uh, for OS X. Sublime Text downloaded, so we go to the download folder to run. It's going to go ahead and install it. Okay, and so now we have Sublime Text. Okay, and we're ready to go. We have our text editor, and so we can. It's just a text editor you can start start typing, and so this is what we're, what we're going to use to write our scripts in. And it's really neat that you can like add new tabs, uh, that you can have multiple files, right? So as I make new files, like you can have different tabs, so you can see different files at the same time. Okay, so let's let's just start off with a quick example to make sure our Python is working and we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to bring up our terminal again. Okay, and so the first thing I do want to show you is kind of how to navigate in this Unix terminal a little bit. And so there's a couple, couple commands uh, that you'll need. And so the first one I'm going to show you is just PWD, which means print working directory. And so if we type PWD, it tells us our working our directory we're currently in, which is users slash Michael Wallace, who's the owner of this computer. Okay, and so if you want to change directories, you use the CD command. Okay, and so if we want to change back one directory, if we do cd dot dot, it goes back one directory. And so now if I type pwd, I'm just in the users, I'm just in the users directory because we want back. And so no matter where you are, you can also go to your home directory by doing cd tilde. Okay? And now if I do pwd, it takes us back to the home directory which is users Michael Michael Wallace. Okay, and so the other thing you could do is see what's in there. And so you can use the command list. So ls is the command list. So if I type ls, it shows us all these files that are in there, including, like maybe we want to go to the downloads. So I do cd downloads. I can see what's in the downloads. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, and so I can go cd dot dot to go back to the home directory and type list, and we're back at the home directory. It actually has some options that we can use. So if I use the command ls minus l, it is long listing. And so if we do that, it actually tells us some more detail, like who the file belongs to. Uh, these are permissions on who can read it and write it and execute it. And then it gives us like creation dates and, um, and everything it is. And so all these that have a D in front are actually directories. Whereas the ones like this Einstein quote dot text is just an, a text file that's readable by everybody, but writable read and writable by only the user, Michael Wallace.